Okay, I'm, I'm walking up the uh, path now. I need to get some mulch, um, but you can see there is a path here. I have mulch in the backyard. Um, I just need to get the energy to move it to the front yard. This is Brunera, the perennial forget-me-nots. I think that's how you say it. Not sure. And there you can see there's some ostrich ferns, which are higher than the ones on the side yard. I have a lot of wild violets, um, which, you know, they just are here, and I can't get rid of all of them. The, uh, the daylilies are here. There's a hydrangea, the hostas. Um, over here, this is a bronze fennel. That's for the butterflies. And again, you'll see lots of ground cover in my front yard. I had eight pine trees cut down last year, last fall. Um, I didn't have the stumps ground out yet. I might, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But right here, this area, is going to be a lot more sunshine. I'm going to go through the gate. This is a really pretty clematis. Uh, it, it's almost like a, a bell-shaped flower, purple. I forget the name of it, but it's really pretty. You can see I have a daylily clumps here. They've been here for a long time. And as you can see, the trees were removed. Um, there's a lot of, of root competition in here for the plants, but that's not the reason why I had the, the uh, trees cut out. The reason was because um, they were getting old. There was, they were just too big. Uh, they've grown too big in 40 some years uh, for the location where they were at. They were created a lot of, of pine cones, dirt for the neighbors. Um, so that's one of the main reasons I had them taken down, the size of them. Here is going to be a butterfly bush close to the house that's going to be blooming. I have another one in a pot uh, that I put in there from last year. And this area right here is full of the um, species daylilies. And the reason I have so many is because it takes up space. And I could remove them, but I don't have to do anything right here. I don't have to mow the grass. Uh, they, they provide flowers. There's other things mixed in here. Uh, you can see the forget-me-nots, the annual forget-me-nots mixed in here. Walking along here. I'll move some of those um, lantanas along the side over here. Maybe plant some in the ground. I potted up some parsley for the butterflies. That's a host plant for some butterflies. And over here on the side, I have some salvias that overwintered in my garage. And you can see that they're coming back. I think that's black and blue, and this is black and bloom, two pots of black and bloom. I'm going to turn off this video and start another one.